Okay, so this is a quick update video. Um, to just show a little bit of progress, I have not worked on this in a while, um, at least on the uh, tank itself, but I have been spending some time working on the tracks. And this kit is ridiculously hard. And it's not hard, it's just a lot of really teeny little small parts. Um, I've made tons of progress. I'm almost at the stopping point, but I thought I would um, just show how these put together for anyone who um, is interested. So I'll cut a few more of these out and then I'll show them um, being put together. So just a quick point, when I'm cutting these, um, at the advice of another YouTuber, I am not being incredibly precise. I mean, I'm marking them here and then pushing straight down with my hobby blade and I'm not even really working that hard to to get it perfect. I just want to remove it from the sprue and make sure there's no extra little hanging pieces, but it's really just punch, 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 and then, um, and then those are done. So um, that's, about, that's about it from that standpoint. There are two different types. There's the bottom and the top of the track, so you have to kind of line them up like this, uh, and then it helps to use tweezers. I, yeah, I will normally line two up, grab my tweezers to get the um, part that makes it move drop it in the slot and then kind of rinse and repeat the first time you do it you have to put one on both sides um, and it can be a difficult task to kind of finesse it in um, but once you have them going you're really adding to the ends of an existing track so this one's already in so for example if I were going to be adding to the end of this one right I've already got one of these end rods in place here. Right, there it is, here. So all I would be doing is kind of using that as a stable piece, dropping these two underneath, grabbing one of these connectors here. Let me grab one here and then dropping it on top to kind of put it in place then with that in top you drop a very tiny amount of glue right inside that hole and a very tiny amount of, of the cement I use the uh, the Tamiya extra thin you drop it right inside there and there without knocking that over then these pieces here, you grab them and they sit right on top, push them down to seal them in, you know, rinse and repeat on the other side, and then you're done and your connector's in place for the next set. So I think that's it for the demo because I'm, I've really cut out more than I need. I'm actually at the place where I'm done and what I'm doing for the final part is these, um, here, uh, these little center pieces, we'll turn it sideways to see better, um, they are a separate piece, uh, you can kind of see it upside down, but those are a separate piece. So they have to be cut off of the sprue um, here. Those get cut off and then you use the tweezers to drop a little glue on the side and then drop them um, right in the middle there and then you're done so I've got a few more I think um, one two three more to do to do there and then I kind of put them on the tank and tie them together and they will be golden